Yeah, the pit is oh right. It, the pit's right here. This is the copper triangle. This is this is what they want to take out. They want to take out this entire area. The but entire the circle's area. laying off people. Yeah, that's well. This is what that's we're saying. Irony. See, this is what I've been telling people. I, uh, fortunately, a week or so after McCain, McCain's, you know, uh, well, whatever his, <laughs> his his rider went through, uh, the price of copper started doing it started dropping. Well, that's because I think China's facing the economic depression that we went through over a decade ago. Sure. So right. they, it caught up to them. And they're, that, that's, they're the demand for the commodity metal. But anyway, uh, the prices yeah. dropped. They let off 100, mm -hmm. close to 150 people last weekend mm -hmm. over here at Group Open. And Lori, oh, praise the Lord. We're going to open up a new mine. It, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. And I'm going to share this. I doubt very seriously. But England and the royal family are going to lend these guys the money to do this development project. Right. It's, you know, but that's the peaks and valleys of, of the industry. See? Live and die by their sword. They kept bankrolling Rosemont. Uh, oh, yeah. Red Kite yeah. out of England. Yeah. They bankrolled them for uh, multi-millions. They ran out of money and they gave them multi-millions more. They did that three times. And every time we said, okay, they ran out of money. Thank God. They gave them more money. Well, you got to remember those, those years. 2011, the price of copper almost hit 440. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so I, uh, I haven't checked here in a week, but it, went, it dropped down to 230, maybe 240. Yeah. So that's the way we live and die by the sword. Yeah. And that's my point. I, I, don't, I don't want, in this case, we, we all understand we're here because of the money. Right. But I don't want the industry in today's world to destroy us. And that's what this project is about. Because what's going to happen, they're going to take the 3,200 acres, which includes part of the old flat. And here's Apache. That material will be transferred up into Superior and be processed in this area. And it'll be slurried out of town, down to Florence Junction. And from Florence Junction, they'll create the concentrate. And from Florence Junction, they'll ship it out in rail down to a port in Wymas, Mexico. In Wymas, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then from Wymas, it's being shipped overseas too. China. 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 Now, well, see, they make they, no bones about uh, it. They make no bones it. about it. And then they say, well, there's not enough uh, smelting facilities in the, in the U.S. to do it. And, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, the reality is that China already has them by 10 or 12 points. You know, their owners are the teachers. So, <laughs> the whole idea and the concept was to get them to come out of metal. But that's where your revenue is at. If anybody's going to make money off the product, it's when you get the raw product down to a usable copper. So the only time when McCain says this is for U.S. consumption, this is for U.S. protection, we wean us off. That's why it's part of the uh, defense it, import, budget. Import, you know, he's, I don't know if he's lying, but he's pretty stupid to make that comment.